for some reason, them guys looked at us weird. It's not like they would think this thing's wrecked or something. See, it looks perfectly fine to me. Just look at this beautiful view. And then Weston, he's stuck. Can't even believe he got it stuck. I guess we figured out our uh, Kubota is not that much of a mudding vehicle. But you know what? She's not feeling too good about herself because she's pretty dirty and she needs a power washing bath. But if you've heard of this very secret technique that you can do to get more traction and where you will never get stuck in the mud, that's if you guys hit the subscribe button. Please hit it. I don't want to get stuck no more. Let's go work on something that definitely will make it through that mud hole. Our Ford Raptor. Oh yeah, she'll just gallop right through it. Boop, 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 doo -doo 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 -doo. We are back out here working on a Ford Raptor. Now we have been working on this thing a little bit. We got it running last time if you did not see that. Oh, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. We've got a lot of progress done on this thing. And if you did not notice, after the wreck that this Raptor had, our apron, well, what's left of our apron was slightly damaged. Yes. Uh, after much consideration and a little bit of gentle persuasion, I managed to just lightly take this off. So, we'll go ahead and throw that out of here. But, we are past that. We are past all the damaged parts. We got everything that's damaged off of this Raptor. And now, it's time to start putting this stuff back on. Dom, what are we going to do with ourselves? We've got unwrecked parts. I don't know. This is a... Abnormal thing for us. I know, I don't know what we're gonna do either. But, we've got a new apron, we've got a new bar to go across the bottom because uh, somebody cut that one in half with a Zaza. Uh, okay, <laughs> to be fair, I did do that. Anyway, we're just gonna blame Dom. So, we gotta figure out how to put this thing onto that truck, well, then we gotta put that on there, and we've got a whole lot of new parts to, tell you, to put on this truck. I can't tell you about all of them, but you know what? You can just see them for yourself. So, without further ado, Dom, how does this go together? You know, set this up there like that. Dom, are you ready? Yep. The radiator support's going in. Put that down out of the way. Now, this, if we need, we'll put this on. Now, what we're doing here is this isn't the final time we're gonna be installing this, but we're just putting this up here to make sure everything's square and straight. And then we'll come back and hook everything solid. That radiator over there, not gonna work. It's bent, it's messed up, and it is not gonna hold up to all the awesome things we're gonna do. But inside this, there's something else. something amazing. It is a new radiator. This right one. This thing came directly from Detroit itself. This is the best radiator man has ever built. Oh my God, look at that. I'm not even gonna lie, look at that. That thing is gorgeous. Here we go, let's see if I'm very good at installing this. Bam. Wham. Oh, hold on. Don't know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna figure it out. Look at that, boys. We've actually got a freaking radiator. You know how amazing it's gonna be when we actually drive this? All right, guys. So, if you would not believe it, we can actually start and move this truck right now, which is a good thing because we actually got to put it back on the lift so we can put the intercooler and a bunch of other stuff back in it. So, the problem is, is where we unhook the complete brake system. We have not bled the brakes yet because we gotta do that once it's on the lift. And it has no brakes and also the power steering's not hooked up, so it has no power steering. But who needs that stuff anyway? It's just overrated anyway. Don't you think, Dom? 
Yeah. All right, so you're going to be my brakes? Like, you're going to stop me if I go too far? No. What? What do you think it'll sound like? A V6 with no exhaust. Oh, yeah, he's probably right. It sounds pretty good. Hey, hey, it's telling me to see the manual for some reason. Trailer brake 12. It's got a lot of faults. Dom, did you hear that? Yeah. Your girlfriend's ride's here. <laughs> oh, he sure does love them big women. <laughs> you know what's amazing is how much stuff underneath this truck is new. Like, look, driveline, new. Front diff, new. Ball joints, new. Frame, new. That's a very long one and a very hard one. It deserves a long word. We have been working on this thing for a very long time and we've never actually got the chance to drive it. But that is going to change today. We've got brakes, we've got power steering, we've got an engine that runs. We don't have a bed uh, or a front clip or a hood or airbags, but we don't need any of that for a test drive. So, all right, let's get it off the lift. Woo, she's landing! Okay, airbag, blown. Airbag, blown. Guys, I did forget one last thing before we need to take this for a drive. We need nice, clean air going into it, so let's put our air intake on. Well, guys, how the hell does all this stuff go together? Oh, I got it. Installed! Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Bam! Look at that, guys! God dang it, I wish this whole tractor would... Did I just call this thing a tractor? I wish this whole Raptor would have went together like that. Now, let me tell you guys, we've got the air intake in. Look at it, it is looking quite beautiful. We still got a uh, this little plastic piece that goes up here on the front, but to put it on the front, you first need a front to put it on. Does that make sense? Not really, but it will. So we don't got anything up here, but now we've got fresh, clean air going into our powerful Ford Performance EcoBoost engine. We've taken almost every bolt, nut, everything out of this truck and we've put like half of them back so it's probably good for a little test drive who knows you know here's how that works extra bolts are just proof that you didn't need them that's what that is so anyway now is the time we are actually going to see if we can drive this truck now we ain't going to matter it ain't going to matter if we don't got no front end you don't need front clips where we're going you don't need the bed installed where we're going we will do that later on though we don't need that, but what we do need is engine, brakes, brakes are kind of, you know, that's, that's kind of secondary, and steering, which we've got all of them things. This is so epic. Oh my God, this thing is so awesome. Are you ready? This. <laughs> I'm such a kid at heart. I love them switches so much. Are we ready? Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Ooh. <laughs> it's, we're actually driving it. It might be ha mo more than halfway missing. Hey, what are you looking at? How you doing? My guy. The guy's like, what the hell is that thing? <laughs> That's the biggest go-kart I've ever seen! For some reason, them guys looked at us weird. It's not like they would think this thing's wrecked or something. See? It looks perfectly fine to me! Do you think it's gonna be powerful? Oh my god! She's a monster! Woo! She is a mean girl, Garrett! So, what do you want to drink? You know what I want. I, I do know what you want. I will admit, I feel a little dumb now. <laughs> We're sitting here with half our truck gone. And you just turned it off. I sure hope it starts back up. Actually, I'm on. 
I'm gonna leave it running. <laughs> <laughs> I, I trust you, Raptor, but I don't trust you that much. How many drugs? What's wrong with it? I mean, it looks nice or whatever. Yeah, I mean, it looks good, don't it? <laughs> I've actually, uh, I've actually seen your guys' YouTube channel. You have? You know Maddie on? What do you think? Does you you think it looks good? Could be better. It could be better. No. Should I took? No. Should I take the doors off? No. No. Uh, I think the doors. Yeah, you know what? You're right. That's exactly what I was going for, too. Of course. Yeah, yeah, have you too. I got my trink and a compliment. I feel so good about myself. <laughs> you know what they say about big hands? Um, big, big gloves. Big bites. <laughs> ah. <laughs>